and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Puff Caps is what we're going to go ahead and call this deck. It's our last donation deck of today. We got had a lot of, uh, you know, we've been playing all donation decks today, which is great. These are all viewer submitted uh, decks. And we have some for tomorrow as well. If you want to see your deck on stream and then also a YouTube video for it, it's just a $10 donation. And the donation link is in the video description for those of y'all watching it later on YouTube. Just send that donation, put your deck code. Um, and, or if you uh, just have an idea for a deck and you want me to build it, feel free to uh, put that on there also. And I can make the deck as well. But these were all uh, viewer-made decks. This one looks pretty interesting. We're going to be going with... Timo and Heimerdinger together um, and you know a bunch of other stuff we're going with a bunch of puff caps and everything like that but then we're splashing Demacia for some value cards like Grizzled Ranger but then also for Unyielding Spirit we're getting another Unyielding Spirit deck here and we're going to be able to have Unyielding Timo because that is awesome or Unyielding um, Heimerdinger to you know protect Heimerdinger and it's a really good protection spell for Heimerdinger because then it comes attached to a T-Hex. So even if they have, um, you know, a bounce spell and bounce your Heimerdinger afterwards, you still get the zero mana 8-8 eight eight for your trouble if you get to Unyielding Spirit Heimerdinger. So that's pretty sweet. And of course, we got like the Peddlers to get some more Puff Caps in there. Same with the Chump Wumps, all that kind of stuff. So here we go, Heimer Puff Caps. Let's give this, give this a go. Hey, Riot Vale, I am doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. We're uh, changing up the schedule a little bit. We got, mon um, the early streams have been doing great. They've really been a huge success. A lot of people loving it. We're doing early streams Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays now. So tomorrow we'll do early stream. So we kind of have like the, the late stream on Tuesday, Thursday nights, and then the early stream uh, again on Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. So we kind of have like that back to back. I may do like like Sunday's early stream also, like you know, one of the weekend days. Do an early stream. Probably be Sunday. Right now though, definitely the Monday Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, Callista Elise. Let's get rid of Jury Rig and keep the rest of these. Cool, get a peddler. Not a peddler. <laughs> Mel Melfero says, I hope this deck works because I'm ready to make it if it does. I, I hope it works too. Okay, turn one, Teemo. Get him. No, my Teemo. My it's alright, we'll find another Teemo. I pull the strings. Well, the peddler will block. If you want to pull the strings. All right, we blocking. It's like they didn't believe me. I told them what I'm gonna do. Don't they believe me? <laughs> so I'm, I'm like reaching down here because uh, Harvey, my dog, is just laying on her back like with her belly up. She really wants her belly rubbed. But you're just a little closer. So I need like, I need to grab like a brush that will help me you know, reach, like, the last, uh, you know, few inches. Okay, so I think we'll save this Teemo. Nah, who am I kidding? We should just play Teemo and attack. Mm, yeah, maybe we should save. Okay. The pro basically determined that Withering Whale is an option, that if I just play the Teemo, take a Withering Whale, and that would be a poor option for me. Why 
can I have one more mana? Alright, so we're taking eight. Eight's a lot. And maybe I'm silly for not trading and then playing Radiant Guardian. But I basically want to both level up Teemo and get a bunch of little blockers. So yeah, now Teemo's leveled up. And maybe that was silly, because I guess I don't really have room now for everything that I want to be doing. Um... Say I'll pick him, you plant him. Is that what he said? Armed and ready. No, don't. Okay, that's fine. Like, so just don't kill my Heimerdinger. Or sorry, sorry, don't kill my Teemo. That's what I said. Don't kill my Teemo. So if I cast Flash of Brilliance, that lets me get three more puff caps. But I think at this point I should probably be playing the Radiant Guardian. Yeah, you're too, too, you're too much of a meme or you just wanted to go this this route and I understand. Definitely understand. I'm gonna wait to see what they do, like, and maybe get excited, because we do stay alive here. Darn. A worried about that. So I should have, I should have just blocked the, uh, you know, with all the spiders stacking. I should have just blocked the turn before with, you know, with my 3-1 and played that 5-5 five five earlier. Like, you know, played that the previous turn than what I did. Didn't set up against um, Atrocity. Oh well, you know, I, I focused on Heimerdinger too much, should have just gotten my 5-5 five five in play instead of Heimerdinger. The Withering Whale was a killer.
Okay, this could be a difficult matchup to stabilize in. Get rid of get excited because I don't want to like get excited is kind of bad early on because you usually don't have like the spells to discard early on. It's like later on you have extra spells to discard to get excited. I don't like keeping it in my opener. I don't think there's an answer for what's the best deck to climb with, because I think that answer is different for everybody. Like people um, play different decks better than others, and people enjoy different decks more than others. I don't think there is just like one one correct answer to what's the best deck to climb with. Looking for trouble. For myself, um, I I am climbing. Like, uh, like, off stream. Like, if I play uh, ranked off stream, I'm playing uh, this Twisted Fizz deck we played two days ago. Run away, bike. And that's the YouTube link from two days ago. This is a problematic situation. I want to Thermogenic Beam, Misfortune, but I also want to have mana next turn to go Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance. I think that we just are not going to have that mana for Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance. Basically, a tall. Hey, Re Resin. Greetings. Misfortune's making this difficult. So I, I have to kill... Like, my first thing to play next turn has to be Thermogenic Beam to kill the Misfortune if they go straight to attacks. And I can attack with these two. Which is kind of a problem, because that means I would be spending a whole lot of mana... to me and I don't really want to spend just spend seven mana on that thing cast these flash flash of brilliances 
Just cast all these pupcaps. How am I winning this? I know this is really risky. I think the chance of me winning this game is pretty small. I think that's where it starts. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. That's eight. So now that's lethal. Sure. That game really just showed how dominant Grizzled Ranger is. Grizzled Ranger just really dominated that game. All right, playing versus burn. Timo and Chumpwong. Fortunately, they have the rear guard as the one drop, not not one of the two ones that we could kill right away. So it takes up five mana to kill that. I could have played the Mushroom Cloud first, of course, and then done four, but it's more valuable to have this as a Teemo than as a Mushroom Cloud. He says, I don't like Teemo and Burn Aggro because it's viable to Thermo in the first round and make it rain Battle Feast. Isn't that just true with um, the t you know the uh, one man the spider the one man and two one with fearsome? I mean, it's vi you know it's the same. Th it's vulnerable to the same all the same things. So you're just trading fearsome for elusive. Elusive giving you another angle of attack, plus the random puff caps being able to do some damage. Blast em. Not trying to block the two power thing and save any damage. Well, I guess I could have. I guess I don't know why I was so focused on. Yeah, I mean that was just wrong by me. I was I was so focused on Mystic shotting the two two. I could have just Mystic shot the three two and then block, and I could have just kept my thing alive. But obviously, it doesn't matter. My opponent says they have the six damage. Oh, 
was a very good burn hand. Them being on the play. That was basically the ideal hand. One mana, three, two. Turn one, turn two, boom, crew, rookie. And then you have the, the crimson combo to do a bunch of damage. Like turn, turn three, they played, you know, two drop and another one drop. Yeah, it was just ideal. Twisted Fate, Lee Sin. Twisted Fate, Lee Sin is the kind of matchup where Puff Caps can have an impact because they are a slow deck that draws a lot of cards. So this could be a very good Puff Cap matchup. Yeah, Transfusion's also, like, comparing Not your... Yeah, you're comparing Transfusion and Death's Hand. Com Transfusion's also, like... Death's Hand's... You said, like, it's removal and face damage. It's one point of damage to your opponent. That's the most it can ever do, is just one point of damage. You know, could, could remove a blocker, but... It's also, it's fast speed. Transfusion's burst speed. Usually, whenever you're saving something, you're doing... Like you're like attacking and they're using removal and you're saving something, you're doing more point more damage, especially with your pumped up unit. And then also transfusion's just a really good combo with Crimson Aristocrat. It's just a great combo there too. Alright, this is, looks like this is going to be a terrible attack by me. Yep, opponent got me. Really wish I didn't attack. There was a little fella asking for me. I don't know, is it, is it Disciple? Is it not Aristocrat? Am I saying the wrong card? I don't know. Yeah, then you can also use transfusion aggressively just to do to do some damage on them too. Okay, so yeah, I'm saying the wrong card, so it's disciple. Sorry. The dragon remembers. They're not killing my puff cap peddler. Why would they not kill puff cap peddler? Seems like kind of a waste of a mega rain. Could have just killed the puff cap peddler and then just waited to cast make it rain like just, there's no there's no reason to get that cue so we have to be worried about twisted fate Killing those. The dark beckons. I fight for the fallen. I don't want to wait on Teemo. I don't want to play Teemo into a Twisted Fate red card. Their deck has looked as good as I've seen like one of these spell heavy decks. Like it's decks looked very good this game. Dimensions don't determine themselves.
So yeah, they're gonna be killing the Heimerdinger. I was pretty sure of that. And so went with getting another Radiant Guardian. Gonna play the two grizzled rangers they just drew four cards and they, ha they have three they're fleeting they're gonna be playing a lot of spells i think that's a really safe assumption like that they're gonna give this they're gonna give this thing barrier is what i'm getting at and so like attacking with like one of these into a barrier isn't fantastic but i'm going to first get these in play and attack with these first so it makes combat for them more difficult. Here we go. It's too late for you. You lack subtlety. I guess maybe they don't have another one mana spell to give that a barrier. Act free of dog. You cannot escape. We need to get them some more pup caps. They do a lot of card draw. Center your spear. They do a lot of card draw. Start drawing more cards. <laughs> Let's go, Timo. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. No, that's really good. Wow, that's great. Yeah, because that just gives them the concussive palm again. Oh, that's pretty great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Fort Demacia. Nope. Give them these first, because if they respond with a card draw spell, first, like looking for a deny, need to give them those first. I obviously could just have deny because I haven't really played anything to deny. But if they're playing deny, and that's gonna be that's four mana, it's gonna be difficult to deal with these other things still.
Wow. That was the absolute best possible Mega Rain. Conflict Damage to me, kill that 1-1. One, one. The other one doesn't, doesn't really matter what the other one does. I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Wow. That was basically the only way my opponent stayed alive. Come on, Puff Caps. Help us out. Please kill Lee Sin. Yes. All they needed was one other spell, and I and I lost. They they just needed a spell they could play. Never know what hit Teemo for lethal. Teemo lethal. All right. So that game, we definitely learned not to attack with our. 3-3 three, three on turn 3 because they, they had this they had the key guardian surprise blocker combo that set me back quite a bit yeah that game, that game was way too close I know it was so close so close All right, Twisted Fortune. Misfortune was a, a huge problem when we played against Misfortune earlier. Why am I mulliganing Heimerdinger? That can't be the right play, right? Let's go. Waited, you know, waited to be able to play this first, to be able to plant three. Yeah, that will thermogenic beam here, and now we'll be able to uh, plant three puff caps. Gotta be kidding me. I think I'm likely going to be blocking, I don't know, do I, do I block? Looking for trouble. It okay. found you. I feel like I'm supposed to block. No, I'm not. Yes, they didn't attack. Why would they not attack? That's such a good attack. All right, let's miss. 
some folks up. Knocked and ready. Twist of fate would have messed me up. So this would be eight puff caps, and we're at six right now. So we'd only go to 14. My pretty. My life for Avarosa. Alright, so not playing the other Teemo because we need 8 mana to be able to go Heimer plus Flash of Brilliance Never lost a fair this turn. Unyielding spirit. Put that on the Teemo. Oh, come on. My opponent's such a jerk. Such a jerk. An organic explosive device? Fascinating. Is that a wait what? Together again, huh? Okay, yeah, so you do Heimer Teemo with you pair with Freljord for Starlet Seer, Elixir of Iron, and a suit up. Those are good cards. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Even just like that little thing was just really efficient for them. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Hold it, sweetheart. Doing this, so we have this wrench bot that we just throw in front of, like the misfortune to save three life. So that's why we're just doing that right now. We have drawn our fourth Teemo, so I can't complain too much. Card draw. There's one progress day in here. Progress day. It's like the worst card we could draw. Never know what hit him. I love to smell mushrooms in the morning. How do they have a slot bot? Do I have a slot bot in my deck? No. Oh, that's that's not P and Z. It's okay. It's Bilgewater. Slotbot's Bilgewater. Quiet. 
Not PNZ. That slot bot was PNZ. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true, core deck, yeah. So, okay, you play a similar kind of puff cap deck, but... Um, but you actually just play Vi instead of Teemo, because Vi is too broken, so you go Vi Heimerdinger, but then with a bunch of puff caps. Even every make it rain has been perfect for my opponent. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Alright, there's Teemo. And we have Teemo with barrier protection. Double up those puff caps. I just play the repost pr proactively. Try to get five damage in. Maybe. Why would I not just attack with everything else? What am I doing? Just, just attack with everything. I can't block. Hey, new bloco. Hope the food is good. So the real question will be whether to... No, we're just gonna go to attacks. I say like whether to play Radiant Guardian. First then attack with Radiant Guardian, but no, we're just gonna attack with this. Puff caps. Wow. Harsh wins two.
going, man. Watch the ball, folks. So that's gonna kill the peddler. Says I don't share. Not gonna let him kill Timo. Virtue guides me. I got my repost. All right, so they attack with everything. I have four blockers. Not very good blockers. That's only one damage right now, right? Yes. All right, so... These are gonna die anyway. We're gonna do that here. They're gonna to wanna to repost their misfortune. We're gonna do that, that, that. And. and that. Don't determine themselves. Vandal scouts are never afraid. Oh, I guess maybe I should have blocked this thing to have them draw another card with the Teemo. No! Of course, I want to get them 10 more puff caps. drawn here. That hurts. We're gonna die to the red card on their turn. Gone straight to attacks. That Icefield Archer was a killer. Of the ages <sighs> yeah, Icefield Archer. So sad. Come on, hit eight puff caps. No. Need them to hit eight. Well, they can they can still hit five puff caps. Soak it in. Come on, five puff caps. Oh, just two. Unforeseen outcome. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. So 
So close. So close. I can't attack and gain life. They have a Twisted Fate that has an Unyielding Spirit. So attacking with this would just mean they just they just block with the twist Unyielding Spirit, Twisted Fate. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, I, I could have right there with the mystic shot. I didn't think about that as I could have shot the I could have given them the 10 puff caps and then shot the Averroes and Sentry. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I could have, could have mystic shot the Averroes and Sentry and forced them to draw a card and just and try to get lucky with hitting all the puff caps. That's true. Yeah, we could have done that. So that game, like, I think that's a, I think that's a really good matchup for for our deck, honestly. I think like basically those Twisted Fate decks are really good matchups, but just the steel cards are like this, you know, the the steal your cards cards are still going to just win games sometimes. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I miss Lethal if we would have got lucky enough. Um, because I think I think the. The puff caps aren't very good against a lot of things, but I do think the puff caps are really good against the decks, like the, the Twisted Fate decks that draw so many cards and are really slow. Um, like, that's really where the puff caps can shine. My opponent just had some really great answers at, at different times. It was really frustrating during that game that just, like, so many things worked out really well for them, and we still had them down to, you know, what, like three or whatever at the end. There's something really low. But yeah, like that sleight of hand steal my unyielding spirit was crazy, and then being able, you know, so then unyielding spiriting the uh, their card, but then yeah, different. We didn't get to hit with Teemo different times with the harsh winds and everything, like the harsh winds and that ice veil archer. Obviously, looking back at it, I really wish I would have just attacked right away with the Teemo instead of play the chump lump first. I try to go chump lump first to pull, you know, like. The, that's like the best play to get the most damage in is jump up first, get these mushroom clouds, and then give them ten puff caps, and then hit them with Teemo. But obviously, against specifically Ice Veil Archer, that plan was poor. Um, yeah, you know, like they got they got a lot of cards from my deck, and uh, a lot of good cards that that helped them out. Um, you know. Grabbing the repost from me helped them out because then I didn't get to gain the five life with the Radiant Guardian because they grabbed my repost. Um, so you know, like if, if they just don't grab my repost, we gain you know we gain five life with the Radiant Guardian, and then you know then we don't die and they're they're just dead to the puff caps. Like it's like that would have been the difference in the game. Bunch of things like that. So even though they had a leveled up Twisted Fate for a lot of turns. Um, we still almost won that. But there we go. So that's Heimer Puff Cap. So we did end up going 1-4. Um, I, I don't... I Okay, just, just some things kind of changed about the deck. I don't think that Repost... I don't like Repost at all. There's there's just a lot of like make it rains and like little ways to to get rid of barrier. But if you want to go barrier, which I don't I don't mind going barrier, but I think that it should definitely be prismatic barrier, not repost. I think that's a that's a big difference having three mana or five mana, especially like when you're playing Heimerdinger, you need a three mana protection because you want to like you want to like turn five, you want to play Heimerdinger and then play like your flash of brilliance to get a free three one. And then they try to kill your Heimerdinger and you Prismatic Barrier and save it. I think that's a that's a really big deal that you really want the three mana protection for Heimerdinger, not four mana. Um, and the other thing about three mana protection is that you would much rather be making Floor Be Gones instead of Apex Turrets as well. So like you want the three mana card to make Floor Be Gone. So I think that's that's just one thing that I would change right away is I would I would take out Repose and play Prismatic Barrier. I don't think that the the plus uh, damage is as important. Besides that, I didn't really like the rummage jury rig stuff. I'd rather just have better cards than these because we don't have things that we want to be rummaging away. Like 
mostly all I did with Rummage was it gave me something to get excited because the the chump one makes the mushroom clouds. So you're thinking, well, we're gonna rummage away the mushroom clouds, but no, I want to give them my I want to give those to my opponent. That's like the point of our deck. So I want to cast those. So I wouldn't play Jury Rig or Rummage. I would probably play another Progress Day because that card looked really good. And then and then I want some some other things to do like turn then like these three slots I need something else to do turn two. Um, you can discard one cost turrets. Eh, I'll just play them. So something else to do turn two. Um, Ooh, wonder if this is a single combat deck. Or if we could get away with some single combats. Other thing, like I could see playing Boom Crew Rookie in this kind of deck also. Getting some extra Nexus damage in it. Like Boom Crew Rookie is just a great card, right? It's, it really is just a, a really great card. And extra damage matters whenever you're doing Puff Caps and you're killing them with puff caps, or if you're killing them with, you know, floor begons and teemos and stuff like that. Like that extra damage really matters. I don't know if y'all can tell my my dogs are going crazy. They like know that that the video is almost over. Cause they're going crazy because they uh, know it's about time for them to eat dinner. Um so yeah, I could definitely see just playing Boom Crew Rookie. Could go like Bright Seal Protector to try to help Teemo or War Chefs to make Teemo bigger. Um, I mean, obviously I would play, honestly, I'd play Boom Crew Rookie. Card is just great. So yeah, that's two changes I would make, or I guess it's kind of like three changes, but yeah, I'd get another progress day in because that progress day did look good. And then Boom Crew Rookies and, um, Prismatic Barriers. So we got little little things, little things, but those you know those could definitely make a difference. Um, you know, if we had like those that little extra damage, you know, maybe we win that last game if we had a boom crew rookie. Who knows? All right, so there we go. That's Heimer Puff Caps. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Um, yeah, but uh, that's it here for Heimer Puff Caps. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.